Hey there, this is going to be a really quick rundown on how you can get set up. Right now in my account section, this is where you put your details that will appear on the files that you send your clients or vendors. So invoices, proposals, purchase orders. Over here is the payments tab. Definitely connect your bank account. It will allow you to receive bank transfers and credit cards. There's a 3% fee on credit cards, 1.2% fee on bank transfer. Uh, but everyone just incorporates it in their markup. So instead of a 20% markup, make it 23% markup. It will save you so much time and it's really, really easy for your client. So you'll get paid much faster. The team rates tab is where you add your team members. You'll just click the button that says add team member and then they will receive an email with their individual login. Now, once you join Ivy, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is add a project. You can't do anything in Ivy until you've created a project. It's really self-intuitive. You just add the details of the project. Um, one thing that some people forget to do is add sales tax, so make sure that you select that, even if it's 0%. I'm going to go into a project that already exists, so I can show you how you can create your first file. So I'm gonna start at the proposal or invoice stage. Always start at the proposal or invoice stage because then you can click a button to create a purchase order. If you first start with a purchase order, you can't click a button to create a proposal or invoice. So always start at the proposal or invoice stage. So here I'm gonna create a proposal. I've already added products into my library, so I can just click select an item and just type the name of the title. I'm gonna write light. And I see any product title with the name light. And I'm just gonna select this one. I can change the markup here. Let's say I'm gonna make it 50%. My clients never see my markup. I'm gonna add another one. I'm going to say table. And I'll add one more. I'm just going to do this. Great. Now I'm going to save this. Now the neat thing about saving is once you go to that save mode, uh, one second, my internet is slow, here we go. Once you're on this page, this is where you can do the really neat things. So I'm in client view, you're automatically in client view when you click save. I'm gonna turn it to manage. And now I can move around my items, okay? You can just drag and drop, just move them around. I can even create groups, okay? So if I wanna create a group, I just click on the group I wanna make. I say click to group items, and I'll name this living room. And now this group is gonna be named living room. I can even add a image if I wanna just say choose file. I'm gonna save this. And now I've just made a group called living room. Another neat thing is I can turn on permissions. Let's say this, if I turn this on, it allows my clients to view the group contents, okay? So if this isn't on and this is off, my client will only see that one item as a line item. They won't know that it's comprised of two different line items. So if I want to uh, have them view it, I just turn it on. Now let's say I want them to approve per line item, which is really neat, so they can approve or decline what I've given them. I just click approve per line item and you see now they can go decline or approve and the balance automatically changes. Once I turn it to client view, I see it as how my client will see it. Okay. From here I can click to create a purchase order, I can click to start an invoice and I can re-edit this. Another neat thing to do is I can click add new payment, I can pay on behalf of my client or I can record a payment if I got a check. But who gets checks in 2017? Move your payments online. Come on, guys. Okay, great. Um, I can also create tear sheets by clicking View Tear Sheets. Another thing that I can do is log my hours. So over here is where I would add a new time entry, easily log my hours. I can generate an invoice from that. If you want to set your hourly rate, you would do it back over here in Team Rates. So you just click, click the Team Rates. And you go down here and you say set up new rate um, and you can add those details there or you can go back and you just click the pencil a pencil on Ivy always means you can edit it so here I can just edit the rate and whatever I edit this it will be able to select it from over here and so let's say I go into a project and I can click this button to generate an invoice but I see that all of these are already associated to an invoice already um, but if it isn't, I could click Generate Invoice. Those are the essentials. Have fun, guys.